A quick update on UBA, which has a uh, newer version, and also the machine learning analytics capability, which I think it is fantastic for, uh, for UBA. So after the app is installed, you probably want to go here with this you, you're gonna after you install the machine learning component you're gonna get this icon in here you're gonna type in it and you need to enable I already did enable all these uh, things and, and let it run for a while and, and this is really it's gonna be getting a picture of seven days worth of data what's the normal user activity for this particular for every one of the actual users that you that, that UVA monitors that gets information from this one is in terms of the different categories. What is the user activity specifically? For example, if we want to see, you, you want to see patterns like this, you know, where their learn uh, behaviors is very similar to the actual behavior. You don't see big deviations uh, because if you do, then that, that's what might be worth uh, investigating. And all these categories, for example, access, what does that mean? Well, if we go here to this uh, icon, and we go here on the access is event resulting on network access so this is not uh, you know OS access but this is really related to network activity very nice and you also have this tab which is the overall risk posture of the actual user so if a user does a lot of risky things like uh, update payroll or you know access critical applications uh, uses like um, uh, higher uh, admin credentials and stuff like that but if that's what he does the in and the out consistently then that's not a big deal but if the user begins to deviate from that that is something worth investigating investigating so when you have um, set all those up you will start seeing that as the machine begins to learn about behavior these bars which are going to start empty uh, are going to be uh, filling up until it has enough data to begin to make some uh, determinations. So, if, for example, if we take a look at uh, Joe here, we can actually see that, for example, on user activity, Joe's have spiked up. You know, has a lot of activity recently. So, well, let's actually, if we, and everywhere on, on these icons where you see these, these pop ups uh, coming up, that's data that you can actually go ahead and get the actual curator data for it. So, for example, if we click here, See, what is all that activity? Hmm, you know, why is Joe doing all of file update, file open, file update? What the heck is he going up to? Or is malware that has uh, compromised his machine? I mean, that, that's something you may, you may want to um, investigate in that particular uh, case. You, in, in all these graphics where you have this icon, you can specify, for example, this is from June 1 to June 5th. Uh, but you can actually, you know, apply a different range and get the, the actual data for it. You can also, on any one of those uh, particular activities, so for example, on today's activity, you can actually go and, and click on any one of these uh, particular details. I can actually go here on the machine learning uh, deviation and, you know, click on anywhere here. Uh, and then you can you get the actual data from from curator itself right so it's a very nice navigation back and forth from the from the two uh, this area is actually very interesting this is the user activity by category so for example in here we're going to see why why is this guy accessing the network so often you can actually click in here and you can actually analyze uh, the actual spike uh, data why he deviated from and if, again, if you click on any one of these icons, you'll see all the curator um, uh, user data in the standard way. That was a, just a very quick update, great tool. I, I encourage you to actually put it in your system and let it learn about what's normal so you can aud automatically identify when things are deviating from what normal is.